So welcome back to another video of Makwara. Uh, so guys, we have harvested our tomatoes. Um, this is some of the tomatoes that we have harvested yesterday. So one of the reasons why we decided to harvest them before they can ripen, when we say a tomato has been ripened, it's when it actually tend to be uh, red. So it has reached its full potential of um, maturity. So we decided to harvest these tomatoes because we got uh, attacked by uh, some of the worms that are normally common in tomatoes. Uh, they normally call, call them bugs. So this is the reason why we are harvesting. Look at this. We are fucked. So we got uh, attacked by those and then we decided to harvest uh, before we can lose our We have found in our tomatoes. Okay. One of the reasons that uh, ended up us to actually cause those kind of uh, uh, worms to attack us is that we didn't actually spray our tomatoes ever since we planted we we always say we will we will spray we will spray and spray and we never did so that's why now we are facing the consequences that we are facing right now we decided to actually harvest but um there's a trick that people normally use uh what they use is bananas to actually boost uh the tomatoes to ripen fast so what i'm gonna be doing now it's an experiment i don't know this i've never done this before so i'm gonna be putting a few of our grade eight tomatoes you can see them guys they're really big so even even other farmers they don't produce this kind. I'm joking. So we wanna be putting like few in a bag with the banana obviously. So we're gonna be putting few and see how long it's gonna take for these tomatoes to actually uh, ripen. Let me just put two bananas uh, and see how long it's gonna take for our uh, tomatoes to to ripen. But if you, as, as long as if, as you, if you can see. Some of them they have already started to ripen. Even over here, you can see some rubbish tomatoes. Here's another one that has already started to actually ripen. So, we're going to be starting to sell very soon. So, let me just put it inside this bag as well and see what's going to happen. So, this is a trick that I, I've seen um, some farmers on other groups saying that it really works. So, we're going to be putting them into bags. So, the other bag, we're going to put them with the, the bananas. Then, on this bag, we're only going to put tomatoes. And we wanna see after a couple of days, maybe three days, or even tomorrow, and see how it goes. So right now we're just gonna be putting. Um, what happened to this bag? So we're gonna start with the bag itself. So let's just do a uh, few and see how, how it will go. Like we said from the beginning, when we started with the shop, uh, we really said we're gonna make mistakes, and yeah, we really did make mistakes. Mara, we are learning from the mistakes that we have done. Um, there's no pressure we are all here to learn even if, even if you know something better than us you can actually uh, comment and tell us what are the other things that we can do to improve our tomato production for the, the next time so yeah this is how we're going to be doing it and uh, I hope it will work I hope it will work but so far I've seen some red tomatoes and they are very, very looking nice man they're, they're really, 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 really looking fine. So this is how it's going to be once it starts ripping. But so far, I've seen a couple of them that are really doing all right. So our tomatoes are really big, guys. So this is some of the tomatoes that we have. They're really, really, really big. I hope you can see on the camera. Me holding this. Let me check another big one over here. And look how beautiful they are. So this is some of the tomatoes that we have uh, actually harvested uh, yesterday. And we also harvested green peppers today. Uh, you remember the other day we started our first harvest with the green pepper? So uh, even today this is our second green pepper harvest. Uh, but they're really, they're really looking amazing as well. They're really big. Some they're really small, but yeah, they, are, they came in right. So as you know, this is our chicken house. So we didn't have any place where we can store our chicken. So we decided to clean up this house after our circle and then we put all these um, tomatoes in. So right now what's left for, from us is to actually find a market where we're going to be selling our tomatoes at. But uh, everything looks good, everything looks fine. We will actually um, update with you uh, when the, our tomatoes are open. So actually forgot the last trick. So one of the tricks that we actually found is that uh, we're gonna place our tomatoes on top of our bananas. So we're just gonna throw our bananas like this on top of our tomatoes and see if they can ripen even if we do something like this. 
So this is some of the tweets that we found on the internet. Some people were against them. Some people were saying uh, it's a good way to go. So we'll see which one works and we'll see who's right and who's wrong. I don't know why they say it's a better way to go. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. But me and you at Magwala agree we are always learning and we're gonna learn with me if this thing's gonna work. So those are some of the tricks that we're gonna be using to actually wrap up our tomatoes fast. Uh, I hope this thing's gonna work. Uh, guys, thank for supporting the channel. We appreciate you. Dango. So it's now six days later. Uh, we are in the house and we, our tomatoes have uh, started to ripen up so we sold our first crate yesterday uh, we actually sold the crate for 100 rand so we we sold the crate for 100 rand and we're gonna be actually moving another crate today since our tomatoes have started to ripen uh, we have so many of those and with the problem of the the worm that we had on on the field we actually solve it uh we bought um so we got this other product uh from ntk to actually spray our tomatoes against the worm that has been affecting us so we got there and then we explained to the lady who works at sales around the sh the shelf where they sell this kind of product that we needed and then she explained to us and then she asked our kind of a worm that has been attacking us that we shown her pictures and said this is the best one you need to buy so try this one out and see how it will work so we're just taking a risk here guys remember when we started this project we said we don't know nothing so it is my first time actually doing tomatoes so don't judge me guys so i'm gonna be making mistakes but i'm gonna be learning and correcting the mistakes so next time we will do better so we bought um the product and then we spray in our tomato fruits with and then they said that we cannot uh, actually uh, harvest our tomatoes within four days after we have spread this product so it means that we will only harvest after five days actually so we said we're gonna give it five days so we're gonna be harvesting after five days so after five days it's when we're gonna come and harvest we hope uh, that we won't have the worm again because what we have realized that every time our tomatoes start to ripen they will start to have those webs so but ever since we took some of those tomatoes to the other house uh the the chicken house that we've cleaned we we have been having um, an excellent uh production so we even sold our first crate so this is from me makwala i agree i just want to say thank you keep supporting the channel